void. A lost voice. If there comes a time when the world has nothing more to give, and you feel abandoned, hopeless. And sometimes, it all feels like a dream, an alternative present, an escape. And here I am, searching for some truth. What is my place in this world? Where am I going? And sometimes it is time to try to find a touch of light in the darkness. Do I matter? Have I ever? it's not for me, and it might never be. Why do I struggle to fit in? What is it that I lack? It feels like there's nothing else I can do. To wait for someone, for something, or is it just me? And at your lowest point, all the frustration and the anger need to be released. Sometimes things hit you harder and all other options are gone. And the only way to cope is to ignore, to tell yourself endlessly, it'll be fine, it'll be okay. But in the end, the reality always comes back. And suddenly, you face the shame. So you hide it all. Once again. So, where does one go to be freed, to be healed, to be liberated? a metaphysical truth, something that can give me some answers, some guidance, but how, who, 
some speak of a god. Where is this god? Maybe God is a voice I cannot hear. Or in this other place, could it be something different? Perhaps a person. Someone who is there for you. Who understands it all. A physical presence. A connection so real that it takes you away to a better place. Another world. Maybe it's just fantasy. But she may have been real. In some other way. Perhaps she wasn't the answer. Maybe she had the answer. An answer inspired by a greater force. Somewhere out there. And so there is that moment when everything becomes clear. When all the suffering and all the burdens no longer matter. And your focus turns towards the world. Whether it be the sounds of the waves or the wailing of the seagulls, both express this life. Slowly, the tree of life becomes the pillar of mankind. And it is through the men and women of history that we learn, for they are the people that have suffered and that have conquered. And the alternative quest for meaning is now a fading memory that will eventually be forgotten. problems, all my fears are nothing, for the essence of living is in nature. She is a mother to us all, present since our birth, who has taught us a guide to humanity that was always there, today as for tomorrow, and all we need is to reach out to go further in the face of danger and trust her. She is my carer. She is my soul. And that no matter what, while I breathe, I hope.